From every vantage point, this 1980 Lincoln clearly projects the luxury car look. The stature and prestige anticipated of a Lincoln. The grille, as one example, retains and enriches the traditional vertical bar theme, flanked by quad halogen headlamps. The distinctively bladed fenders that are a Lincoln styling hallmark combine with a lower belt line and greater glass area to retain the long and highly formal Lincoln silhouette. At the rear, elongated horizontal reflective moldings flanked by vertical tail lamps accentuate the look of width and stability so much a part of the Lincoln stature. New vertically styled quarter windows are now standard on all Lincoln Continentals. With the elegant town car shown here, further distinguished by an optional coach roof complete with coach lamps and a French treatment for the backlight. Complementing the impressive look of the new Lincoln are interior elegance and spaciousness, reflecting the high standards our owners have come to expect. All comfort measurements are comparable to the 1979 Lincoln, and remarkably, in the rear compartment, legroom has been increased. The Lincoln Continental trunk, consistently among the industry's largest, is larger yet for 1980, with the same popular deep well design as previous models. Luxury and convenience features standard on all Lincoln Continentals this year include power windows and vent windows. And the electronic AM FM stereo search radio there's a luxurious new soft field finish for many interior moldings. And the headliner with assist handles now standard front and rear. Stock controls also are standard on all models. Side window glass, more vertical this year, accentuates the feeling of spaciousness in the Lincoln and the combination of a new seating position and a lower hood and cowl permits a better field of vision from both the front and rear compartments. For Lincoln Continental two-door models, such as this elegant town coupe, the hardtop flavored roof line retains the same styling concept as its predecessor, but with quarter windows restyled. The town coupe shown here is equipped with an optional coach roof that includes coach lamps and a French backlight. On all two-door models, inertia-type seat back releases are standard, and many key comfort dimensions have been increased. Now standard on the Town Coupe and Town Sedan, twin comfort lounge seats with six-way power adjustments, a manual recliner for the passenger seat, a newly styled pillowed cushion design, and in both front door armrests, sizable stowage bins for sunglasses, maps, and gloves. On the road, with all the new Lincolns, there are many reasons why the ride and handling will more than live up to their highly respected ride-engineered heritage. As on previous Lincolns, the body rides totally isolated from a separate full frame. A new forward steer front suspension 
and new four bar link rear suspension also contribute to a smooth and stable ride. The 1980 power steering delivers new agility and response, combining with new shorter wheelbases and suspension geometry to reduce turning diameter by some eight feet. New acoustical materials, including more flexible weather stripping, seal out road noise to a degree that represents another impressive plus for the Lincoln ride. To make all of its new luxury right for the times, the 1980 Lincoln Continental also offers, as standard equipment, sophisticated new electronic engine controls featuring an onboard computer that monitors an electronic fuel injection system for better gas mileage and more reliable performance. These components, plus the revolutionary new automatic overdrive transmission, make key contributions to a remarkable increase in fuel efficiency. Totally new in its design and advanced technology, unmistakably Lincoln in its styling, spaciousness, and ride. Lincoln Continental, 1980 with luxury right for today. With a very special the very exciting blend of innovation, tradition, and flair, reserved for those years in which a new generation of marks is introduced. The Continental Mark VI. Unmistakably a mark, designed to command the instant recognition traditionally a mark's prerogative. This new generation of more fuel-efficient marks retains the styling hallmarks, most representative of its styling heritage. Concurrently, the Mark's exceptional talent for styling leadership is reaffirmed with a new lower belt line, an increased glass area, imparting a new international flair and aura to the Mark's high fashion appeals. On all models, a fully padded vinyl roof with French backlight now joins the Mark's extensive array of standard luxury features with the Landau roof shown here, continuing as an option. Inside the new generation marks, opulent appointments, enriched in their elegance and luxury appeal, share the spotlight with significant increases in spaciousness. Virtually every interior dimension in the Mark VI two-door is greater than the Mark V's. The rear compartment is the roomiest in the Mark's history, with a full four inches more rear legroom than the Mark V, and substantially more shoulder and hip room as well for authentic three passenger rear seat comfort, made all the more impressive by a center rear seat armrest now standard on all models. The Mark VI trunk is also the largest ever offered on any Mark with over four cubic feet more luggage capacity than the Mark V, and a deep well designed to accommodate luggage upright. Reasserting the Mark's flair for introducing boldly innovative styling features, these touring lamps will be optional on all Mark VI models.
all of the distinctive and popular designer series marks will again be available in two-door models each with its own two-tone color combination expressing its designer's personality and wearing his unmistakable signature. A yachting motif continues as the theme of the sporty Bill Blass series with a white convertible flavored carriage roof over a body of white and dark blue. And for the interior, a choice of white with dark blue accents or a solid dark blue leather. The aristocratic, highly styled Givenchy edition is rendered in a light fawn, full vinyl roof over a bittersweet exterior. With a coordinated bittersweet leather interior trim. With the dramatic, vivid elegance and flair characteristic of past designer series by Signor Pucci. The Mark VI version features a vinyl Landau roof of light fawn over light and medium fawn two-toning. With its interior, a subtle coordination of light and medium champagne leather. This designer's mark, the Cartier edition, captures its designer's flair for understated brilliance with a Landau vinyl roof of medium pewter and a medium and light pewter two-toning treatment for both the exterior and the interior trim, which is available in either leather or cloth. Again, the highest form of automotive expression, true to its heritage, yet dramatically, totally new for 1980, the Continental Mark VI.